Yeah, we lived here in this house for three years. Um, it was a massive victory when we moved in because we came out of homelessness. So we were really overjoyed with just, you know, the beautiful house. Um, we started to sing and we sort of prayed in the garden. Yeah, um, I didn't think the singing was a problem until the neighbours started to complain about the singing to other neighbours and then I was approached by one neighbour to essentially let me know that it was a, you know, the Christian singing was a problem for these neighbours but not for her and that she essentially gave me permission to carry on which I found was very strange. <laughs> The depth of that complaint then later started to unspiral with my older daughter being targeted by the sort of gangs and, and the youth groups around here. She was um, stoned with rocks hurled at her back um, and my dog was uh, thrown rocks at as well. He was also rammed into with a trolley and told that I had to get off the pavement because this particular Muslim neighbour didn't want to touch my dog. Um, my daughter's life just became unbearable because she was being stalked and harassed everywhere she went, um, physically assaulted, she sustained injuries, things just got so bad for her that she had to drop out of her college course and flee to the countryside. Um, we've always been an incredibly tight family, we're very tight knit, we're very very close and my family has just been torn apart by this, um, which is just devastating, it's just unbelievable. The Christian singing praise and worship um, issue then started to get more serious when, um, as I say, the neighbours complained, but I was actually interviewed by the Housing Association for this singing, and I was made to give an answer to them about why it was happening, and I had um, a person with me that was present in the room, and, and they just basically informed me that it wasn't acceptable because these Muslim neighbours didn't like it and they felt targeted by it. Um, and as I said, I was made to give an answer for why I sing Christian praise and worship. Nothing bad about it, there's no bad lyrics. Um, it's generally just lovely music to listen to. It's not unpleasant at all, I just couldn't believe it. Um, we started to get targeted by other members of the Muslim community in this area. For instance, one local shop owner um, who we used to be really friends with. We used to sit and chat to him and his wife. We, we got on really, really well. Um, I asked him if I could put an advert in his window um, and it was just for trying to meet other Christians in the area for Bible study and prayer support and that kind of thing. So I just put a little little advert in the window um, I noticed that the next day it had been taken down and I asked him you know what why he took it down I, I didn't understand um, but I saw that all the other adverts in the window for Quran reading and things like that were all still there but not mine he then started to refuse to sell me items on two separate occasions and I just knew a hundred percent that he had those items that I wanted to buy um, We've been slandered so much around the community that there's a lot of other non-Muslim people that have started ganging up on me and threatening me. Um, YouTube videos were created slandering me um, and, and falsely accusing me of things that I just haven't done, I and my children. Um, and some of the YouTube videos were inciting the general public to come and do me harm. I've seen Facebook posts where people have you know, said that they're going to come and do me harm, they're going to give me a slap, or they're going to come and teach me the good old fashioned way of getting me out. Um, I've been called Islamophobic so many times, um, which is not true. I've got tons of Muslim friends, and when I ran my campaign for Conservative Perspective Ward Councillor, um, I managed to get a lot of Muslim women moved because of domestic violence and things like that, and they've wanted to keep in touch with me all along, so it just isn't true.
Um, I've had death threats. I've also had Islamic chanting on my doorstep through my letterbox. It's, it's very intimidating. Um, I've also been reported to social services for being Islamophobic. Um, one of the other neighbours said that I was a mental crazy Christian and that I was going around the neighbourhood saying that the devil is following me, which isn't true, but it's just, you know, they're just trying to paint a picture of me that is just, you know, Christian persecution. We host um, missionaries from different ministries from all around the world and so the women come to stay with me. We've at one point we had quite a lot of women and guys come to visit us for the day and we've prayed in the garden and then literally the next day the women who were staying here were blocked from entering my house by a, a, the group next door um, of Muslim neighbours. They just stood there and refused to let us pass with their physical body um, in just a really angry, aggressive and intimidatory way, sort of tutting and, you know, making sort of angry sounds at us and um, that was really devastating because they never came back and I've had to now, you know, stop doing that. Um, another time we've had feces we were broken into and I've had feces smeared under my bed. Um, I've had water thrown over my head, uh, liquid of some kind, I'm guessing water, I don't know what it was, uh, but it destroyed my, my work phone. Um, all in all, I've reported probably over 100 crimes to the police. Um, I've always expressed that I believe that this is hate crime related to uh, you know, my, my religion or my faith, um, but I've only seen one prosecution. Um, we've reported physical assaults, criminal damage, um, break-ins, uh, my property's been smashed up, we, we've, sus we've sustained many different physical assaults, um, plus threats and stalking and harassment. We've, we've had dumped litter, literally things like bloody mattresses and, and trolleys and spiky wood and all kinds of rubbish, literally just rubbish dumped against our front door. We've been blocked in before, we've been blocked out and, and it's just been so severe. Well, we just want to get out of this um, living hell, just this hell. We, we don't feel safe here, we're not, we're not safe here. As I said, we've suffered so many physical attacks and violence of all kinds. We, we just want to um, get out. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a mother, I've got a young child and having a safe home is the most important thing for childhood. My older daughters, um, three and a half years here, have been completely destroyed by, by this violence. Um, it's destroyed her, her childhood, it's, it's traumatized her, it's traumatized me. We, we just need somewhere safe. I, I don't feel that this is my home anymore. I don't feel that it's safe. We, My family tree is very extensive here and it began in this part of London in 1890 and, and I just don't know where else to go. This is my home. But it's just not safe for me, especially as a Christian. Um, I've stopped going to church because I'm so worried about the attacks. Um, and the violence, you know, all across London, it's just petrifying. We, we just want to get out as soon as possible. Um, yeah, just want to finish, you know, raising my children in the right way. And um, the British Asian <laughs> Christian Association has been absolutely amazing with helping us and um, trying to address all of these issues. They're working on getting us moved. Um, we've got another church to go to somewhere far away, thank God. Um, and, you know, just looking to be reunited with my, my older girl again.